So what's the name of this uh, soup that you're making? Watercress. Watercress soup. And these are the watercress. It is a uh, water plant, right? Hence the name watercress. And there's some chicken to be put in the soup to give it a chicken taste, hopefully. And of course, with every soup, you must have a pot of boiling water. And I see there are two pots here. That means one is just to uh, blanch it or parboil it to get the scum out or the smelly smell of the chicken. And some people do call it uh, chicken stock, but that's for another day. So the chicken has been parboiled here, and after parboiling it, it has been put in here, which is where the soup will be cooked. And you can see a lot of oil been exuded out of the chicken. There's some plums here too, and it's nothing to do with super glue. Super glue is not an ingredient for this soup. It's for my gun flour. So we better put the unused super glue in the fridge. What do you do this now? You put the plums in. Lunch, the lunch, the chicken, chicken, chicken wings, you know, chicken wings, chicken feet. Put the plums in. And why? Wait a minute. Why? Why you cook? So. Wouldn't, wouldn't the, the stuff from the chicken that was oozed out from the blanching what I mean, from blanching it, get stuck to the watercress? See, none. I removed it. Or the scum on I top? I removed the scum using this new gadget. Oh, okay. The appliance is not a gadget. So, why didn't you blanch the, the watercress in this soup here? Take away the green smell. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the green smell. There's not a lot of watercress there after mm. boiling it. And once you boil it, you will turn brown. Yeah. How much is this watercress? One fifty. One ringgit and fifty cents. That's roughly about fifty US cents. So where are you going to put the seasonings? Mm. All the seasonings. Mm. When the soup is ready, you can add in the seasoning. Mm. What seasoning are you going to put it? Mm. Put inside? Oh, chicken stock. Uh -huh. mm. You can put it in this one if you like. Uh, chicken stock. Chicken stock. Or you can put in the chicken powder, chicken cube. Norse chicken cube. Oh, this is in water form. Oh sauce from. Where else are you going to put? Some salt? Yeah, that's all. Sugar? No. Oh, yeah. mm, the sugar comes from the plums. Uh, red dates. Oh, red dates, yeah, sorry. Red dates. And that's it. Cook for how long? Boil for how long? More than an hour. More than an hour. Okay. That's how you make Ooh, it's raining. Thank God, today was so hot. What's today's date? 27th of May 2016. It's about uh, 5.30... Yeah, 5.30 p.m. Ah, it's raining now. I don't need to go to the field to to water the plants with shit water or sewer, sewer water that is flowing through the monsoon drain. Thank you and thank God for me. Today oh, was such a warm day. A humid day this afternoon. Came back from Wooly Food City after videoing a Cha Kui Tiao uh, video. Uh, it was so warm, so I, 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 I told myself or thought to myself that well, if I need to water the plants in my secret garden over there, I will water it in the evening where the sun is already uh, is not in the sky or directly in the sky shining on my bald ass head and now it's raining thank you very much god we need a welcome respite it has been a warm humid day nice peter patter poo
it's going to rain as much as 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 as, as a lot. Ah, oh, dark clouds. Yum yum. Is it a storm? Don't think so. Is it a gale? Not gale, I mean, is it going to be a fast rain? I'm not sure actually because if I look properly, it's quite dark everywhere. Quite cloudy and dark and very windy. And it's going to be very, very loud thanks to the pitter patter of the rain on top of this this awning or this metal roof so back to the kitchen that's what ladies ladies should adhere to back to the kitchens ladies who was this ebony looking female hmm. from Africa or from America oh my god this is actually a, a Japanese is it Osaka Huh? Japanese? Japanese mother uh, Black father West Indies father West Indies? West Indies? Osaka is in case Jumping off of the return One of the islands Where is it? Caribbean? America's there? Or Cuba there? Near that shithole was that place that has had a lot of uh, earthquakes Haiti Ah, Haiti yeah. Around there, right? So, Osaka, I think the Japanese people are very proud of her. I don't think so, because she's black. Huh? She doesn't know Japanese? Okay, she's not from... She's not from Japan, ah. Uh. Oh. So, the, ja Jap J the Japanese people, they don't need to, like, throw a stink bomb on their... on their tennis idols. But she's not Japanese, right? I mean, nationality... Nationally, she's not ah, Japan. Oops, I guess uh, the Japanese people, the Japanese people will be like, ra be racist and say, oh, she's too black. Ebony and Ivory together playing piano. Is that how you sing the Paul McCarthy song? No idea. I see there are brinjal, two of them been sliced into big pieces and now you are what are you doing? Uh, heating them up. Is it frying them? Stir frying? Uh, not stir frying. Fry the Put some oil on the wok. Uh, use some oil it's always a oily dish where if it involves brinjal, eggplant Aubergine, so many names for just the common purple fruits. It's a fruit, it's not a vegetable. It's got seeds in it, right? So it's a fruit. See, you have uh, chopped some onions and you, are, you have, what's that? Belachan and chilies and also uh, onions being diced, not diced, uh, being put into the food processor. Am I right? Did you put sugar or salt in inside it? No, right? So it's our secret sauce, which is made of chilies or dried chilies, uh, blachan and chopped onions. That's what that is. That's like a sauce to cook your whatever with. Can be brinjal, can be any other vegetables. So there's some fresh onions there. And we already put back the secret sauce in the freezer. This one is a finely diced uh, krill. You call this krill? Oh, white, 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 dry prawns. Yeah, dry prawns, which are small. Heavy. Well, heavy is what language? Hokkien. Hokkien. For small prawns or dry prawns. Dry prawns. And why are you pounding this fresh onions? together, I mean. What? What's it for? For frying, frying this. Eh? I told you, have this one to fry, I mean you can fry this one. Do you need to pound it? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What are you? Uh, what do you have? Steaming with the rice cooker, or steaming in the rice cooker. Tofu. Oh, tofu. Oh. Oh, plain tofu. Plain tofu is in this special compartment here, steaming. So it's all white. So a bit of oil, and what you're gonna do? Fry the habi or dried prawns that has been sliced or minced with uh, pounded. Oh, pounded with a porta and mortar and pestle. Not a porta. Don't know what's a porta. Yay! It's like children screaming in pain and oil. <laughs> How's the the what do you call watercress soup going or doing? Ah, smells smells like watercress soup. The watercress is from where? From China? No, no, maybe local. Whoa, slime over. Sometimes there are farms that are positioned next to heavy industries like a like a we call factory. So it's uh, quite scary of for them to plant. to plant plants while using water from. Uh, from a stream that has been polluted by a, a semiconductor factory and whatnot. So there will be a lot of heavy metals in the water that has been used by the plants. So, yeah. So into it is a blachan. Oh sorry, sambal. That's what we call it, sambal blachan. What does sambal mean? Sambal is a Malay word. It's a Malay word. It's not the, what do you call that, that dance that rhymes with sambal. What's that dance? Samba. Samba, ah, samba. It's not samba, that's the dance. And samba is from where? From Hawaii. Ah. From South America. South America, whoops. It's quite near. Quite near who? Near Hawaii. Ah. What? What's happening? Oh, you have some blachan. That's blachan. That means it's... This is woof, strong smell. It's almost equi equivalent to the Thai uh, version, which is uh, fish sauce. But this one is not as uh, pungent as the fish sauce, thank God. So this is made from krill or habi that has been dried and pounded into oblivion. So some of the pounded onions have been put in with the uh, put in the wok. Add a bit of blachan. Mm. Oh, that's one whole half a block. That's not a bit, that's a lot. Huh? That is quite a lot. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not the cook. This may not have enough. Oh. Thick. And it's uh, the fish taste or fish smell. This one would be the sauce for the aubergine, right? The aubergine fruit. Mix it all together. And there's not much oil, surprisingly enough. Mm -hmm. There's not much oil in the wok. Well, once, once you put the aubergine in it, then there will be a lot of oil. Because the oil has been absorbed by the aubergine. Uh, earlier when it was fried in oil or stir fried in oil Not stir fried 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 bring, bring the water First time that I learned of the, the word aubergine was in Oxford, Britain. I did not know that the, the eggplant or the, or the brinjal is known by another name that is aubergine. Is it French? 
like horse de ver, horse de deval. What what is horse de ver? Huh? What's it called? Orders. Oh, sorry, orders. I think that's a French word for appetizer. That means you get some food in small chunks or small portions. For orders, but but size, bite size. Orders. So what are you gonna do next with the aubergine? Cook it until it's dry. Okay. And put in some seasoning like salt. What sauce? Soya sauce that's uh, salty. What else? Sugar. Okay. And that's all. Okay. And there you go. The aubergine with sambal belacan. What? Oh, scraper to to scrape what? What do you scrape? Oh, garlic, garlic and onions being fried now. Huh? Salmon. It's a lot. How much is this? This uh, what do you call this? Grater, mini grater. Three ninety. That's roughly about one. Uh, one dollar and thirty US cents, roughly, or less. Why don't you chop it? Hmm? Why don't you chop it? Faster. Cooking is not playing. One should not play with one's food. Over the walk, I think, you're supposed to do that. Or here, on the floor. Why don't you just get one of those Jamie Oliver things from the contraption where they just put it in the mechanism and they just squeeze it and it all comes out. Don't even need the what should we call it? Need to take out the the oh don't stab me. Don't need to take out the skin. That would be very convenient. And how much you need? And what are you doing now? All these contraptions are no rookies. Oh. So what are you doing now? Oh, for the tofu. Uh. And what about the fish, the salmon? Mama, I just fry the fish. Fry, stir fry. Fry, fry. Deep fry. Just fry, fry with a little bit of oil. Uh, how much is it? Three Three ringgit, one one US dollar. And ooh, blood is coming out of the blood is spreading out of the backbone or we don't call it a backbone, the middle bone, right? Who knows? It's kind of creepy. It's a salmon, right? The salmon's got blood. Yeah, that means the blood is trapped inside. Even though you have taken it out from the freezer. It's is Osaka winning? No, Osaka lost the second match but won the first. And Halep is going to win the third match soon. So don't cry for me, Japan. Oh. Very bitter. Uh oh. Don't worry, we have a lot of uh, oil, garlic oil and onion oil there, caramelized ones. Soy sauce, light soy sauce, which is salty. Some sugar. Okay. No, not water. Yeah. Oh, not a lot. Hey, oh, there's not a lot of onion oil left. 
Okay. That's for the that's for the tofu, right? It's quite a cool evening, which is nice. Even though it stopped raining, which sucks, but it's cool. Actually, anywhere is cooler than inside the kitchen. You can see those uh, flame of the forest, very pretty, very red. Uh, does it look like flames to you? I think it does actually. If you squint hard enough until your eyes look like it's from Co like you are from Korea or Japan. Hiya! Oh, there's another match somewhere else. Stosa vs. Safarova. And Safarova, I think, is this girl here. I suspect she is a lesbian because she sure looks like one. Pretty one, one that is. Pretty lesbian. Yum yum. Because she has some eyeliner, like she's following Ariel Levine from Canada, the singer. Can be quite pretty when she wants to be pretty. When she wants to. So, next up. What to do, what to do. Next up, deep fry the salmon piece. First, I have to dry it up. You don't want it to be splattering everywhere. I think the salmon seems to be a bit bitter. Yeah. Can't you, like, I mean, use lemon to, to get Wash that it. taste away, that bitter taste? Yeah. I don't know. But I can tell you. But I can tell you something that the lemon, if you were banking on getting vitamin C out of the, out of the fish, uh, forget about it because lem uh, vitamin C is uh, very vulnerable to high heat, so it will be destroyed in the wok when it's being fried with oil. The fish that is imbued with lemon, that is. Of course, the lemon has loads and loads of. Vitamin C to dry with a uh, tissue paper, and if you don't have that, toilet paper will do. This is, okay. as as this is it's called a soaking tissue. tissue. This is a, like a tissue? Uh, kitchen tissue. Kitchen paper. Kitchen paper. Looks like rubber. Put some oil in the wok. Make sure it's hot, hot, hot. What's what the salt for? Oh, the salt stops the the fish from sticking to the wok because it's coarse and grain and it gets everywhere. It's red, huh? Ah, so it's got blood. It was beaten half to death by the fisherman. Get the hell out of here. Get down, get down. Get to the chopper. Fry, fry, fry. What else gonna put on this uh, piece of salmon? Sugar? Soy sauce? Soy sauce? A little bit of sugar. That's all. And a squeeze of lemon. Squeeze of lemon. Lemon squeeze. Where's the soy sauce? Yo, the oil is so so dark. Oh, the blood. The salmon. Brown. Oh, okay. So we have to throw away the oil. What a waste of good oil. Or you can three. or you can spread it on our rice. Or mega trima, you see? Or yeah, the snow. How do you describe this? It smells like salmon. Fishy, fishy. Oh fishy snow. Mm. You're not cooking steak, are you? No, this is for steak. Uh, 
Okay. I was talking about the beef kind of steak. Now you eat mutton? Ah? No. Huh? No. The kind that I did? Nope. No. Unless no. it's mutton curry, then I would, I would like it. Mutton curry will really taste that nice. You cooking it? Uh. If, uh, if I'm cooking it, it won't taste that nice. You better go to Paul Anderson. Eh? No, the, the mutton is different from the ones outside. Oh, we go to uh, Stadium, the Indian Woman. Banana leaf. You must well go to whatever. Where, where is Chapo? Chemo. Jalan Chemo. Where is that place that uh, has a couple of banana leaf restaurants that are cheap, supposedly cheap. Nowadays uh, things are so expensive in Ipoh. Like mm -hmm. six, run, six ringgit for uh, beef noodles. And some uh, more sugar. Than that for Thanks, Najib. More than that. For banana leaf. Yeah, it was 15 bucks per person in the old Andersonian yeah. club, but it was worth it. It's very was it, delicious. Is it worth it? I think so. If you're fat and it's a free for all, you can add in as. I think you can fill in, refill rice. a lot of rice. Do they charge you? I'm not sure. Extra. Okay. So, where's the place? Uh, the one that has a lot of banana leaf restaurants? What's the place called? Chemoa. Jalan Chemoa. I'm not sure. So that's about it. I mean, the gas is off already. And a squeeze of lemon to make it or cut through the fishy smell. Oh, it's dark already because of the caramelization of the sugar due to the high heat of the wok. That's it. What about the tofu? This is this is the Garen Garros, Roland Garros, Grand Slam in France or Bari. Stoser is from Samantha Stoser is from Australia. She looks like a woman. Is Stoser? So, uh, from your point of view, which has the which uh, chakrito you have tasted in Nipo that is the best? I say L and L, and this this food court, uh, food, woolly food court, stands head to head. Must be woolly. Woolly. You prefer woolly than L and L. I just real. L and L is is uh, is has its own way. Oh, okay. Of cooking and oh. using water. Instead of pork lard, which is used by woolly, that's why it tasted so, so nice. I just realized that that all the time that we have been eating in this woolly food city, when we all order char kway teow, I've been tasting the subpar version of the char kway teow, because you guys have been saying, oh, don't put in the pork lard, oh. so it's le it's not as tasty as today's char kway teow. Yeah. I've been getting the raw deal. Because you want to die that early. Uh, you won't die from eating pork lard. It's so delicious today's one. Oh my god. That's why it's so different from a long time ago. Maybe it's because they uh, put in more effort or or more time. I was uh, yeah, I was filming them. Or maybe because they are not busy today. Not busy at all. That is all the stores that you went to, the camera takes better on Okay. So it was not busy they were not busy normally this chakrito store is always busy and if they are very busy i can't go there and and film them so today is a chance it's quite a rare chance to film them when they are not busy if not i would have gone for the pakute and try it I don't know whether it tastes nice or not because all pakute and all pakute taste the same you can't fuck up pakute at all bakute means uh, white Something, something. Bone. Bone? Part of the. Bakut. Bakut. It's the rib. Oh. Rib bone. Rib bone. Rib bone. Rib bone. Rib bone. Rib bone. 
rib on rib on rib rib on condom. Ooh, it is called omelette, right? No idea. It's not omelette, man. Scrambled egg, ah. Huh? It's gonna be a scrambled egg, right? Scrambled. Yeah. What is scrambled? Mmm, tastes nice. The way of doing it and my way of doing it, we come to different tastes, you know, subtle differences in taste. I find it's a little, little nuances and and differences that can really change the taste of the dish or meal. I find. So now, uh, today we went around this uh, Kampung Simi or the Simi main road. I think we have already found where the next uh, Wantan Mee stall we should go to. And it's only at night. It's in a dilapidated little house. Hopefully they are still there and not manned by old person who have died of old age or something like that. That's uh, scrambled eggs. So next up is the tofu. Hopefully. Okay. Ah, standing brown already. The uh, watercress soup. Uh, watercress vegetable. Almost ready. Has Baba tasted the chocolate? Ah? Chocolate with Martin liquor thingy. Martin, in the tin can. Rum. Yeah, open yeah, rum. the rum flavored chocolate, whatever. That's the steamed tofu. It's gonna be hot. I use a cloth. A calamity will ensue. The water you don't need, you can throw away or drain it away. Huh? 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 You need water? No. Alright. Water can, can be used. Water can be called like buttermilk, right? Mm. Is it mm. something like buttermilk? Ah? Wait. Yeah, the blue ish. Hey, you know eh? Hey, I thought it's supposed to be like two in one. This is three in one. Mm. I prefer the one that you uh, oh, no, no, tacos king. roasted. King. King. Huh? Nothing. This coffee, just in case you do not know. So cool a day. I like it. This is Malaysia. It being cold is a rare occurrence. And this is. Hopefully. But the, nice. that the sugar has already melted into the sauce. It's lacking and uh, lacking in what? Uh, shredded pork. Never mind. Nah, it's okay. So that's today's dinner. Quite a lot. Tofu with garnishes and stuff. Salmon. Uh, brinjal cooked with sambal and egg. Fried egg. AKA uh, shredded egg. Nah. What's this egg called already? Yeah? Scrambled. Scrambled egg. Mm, tastes okay. Not bad. So there's a seasoning for the watercress watercress soup. And a bit of salt as well, not forgetting. Crush it. It's just a quarter. Mm, quarter of a cube of nor chicken stock something something the salt not too much mm. Mm. that's about it